Okay, let's go ahead and figure out this nice little math word problem. And of course, the first step to solve any problem is to read the problem. So let's go ahead and do this right now. It says the sum of three consecutive integers plus five is 20. What are the numbers? So if you think you can figure this thing out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually going to show you the correct result in just a moment. But uh, here's the deal. You shouldn't read this problem and be like, oh, there's no way I can do this problem. You really don't know whether you can solve a problem or not unless you attempt the problem. Okay, now there's two words in this problem that possibly can confuse some of you out there. And those words uh, are consecutive and integers. Of course, you're going to have to understand what these words mean in order to figure this thing out. But uh, anyways, I'm going to explain these words and exactly how to do this problem in just one second. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I absolutely love helping people learn mathematics. I'm going to tell you right now, all of you can be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that are having a tough time with math. Maybe you failed math before. Maybe you're struggling right now. Listen, please do not give up. There is hope, okay? Now, here's the three things that all people need, especially those of you that struggle in math, need to be successful in math. The first thing you need is the, um, the desire to learn math, and uh, you got to be willing to work hard. Okay, So if you're not willing to work hard, you're going to have a tough time learning. So I'm just telling you the honest truth. You do have to put in the effort to learn mathematics. The second thing you need is encouragement. Right, you need someone telling you that you can do this. That's especially important for those of you out there that are struggling. All right, you're like, oh, you know, your inner voice is telling you, I can't do this. Maybe I'm not smart enough. I hate math. I'm just bad at math. Listen, you know, when you're uh, talking to yourself in that way, you're going to have a tough time, you know, learning. You need someone saying that's not true. And I'm telling you that is not true. You can be successful. But the most important thing you need is great math instruction. You need to learn from someone or something where you understand what's being you know, told to you, right? If someone's teaching you something and you don't understand what's going on, you're going to be lost and you're going to get frustrated and then you're going to have a tough time in math. The way I like to teach math is I like to explain things in a nice, easy to understand way where all students can get it. Okay, and uh, my particular teaching style is, you know, been developed through years and years and decades and decades. All right, that's you could teach in a certain way without watering the material down that all students uh, can understand. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for that has math on it, things like the GED, SAT, ACT. Uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my uh, math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes. Okay? Uh, you know who takes above average notes or exceptional notes? Those students who get A pluses. So if you want exceptional grades, learn how to take fantastic notes. The only way you could take great notes is to be highly focused uh, and engaged in class, right? So uh, take great notes. But in the meantime, you can use my notes if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer to this problem. The sum of three consecutive integers plus five is 20. What are these numbers? What are these integers? Well, here they are four, five, and six. So uh, these are the integers. Now, I'm going to explain the problem here in a second, but this would be the answer to the question. Okay, so how did you do? Did you get this right? Well, that's very impressive. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can brag about your awesomeness and math word problems to your friends. Okay, maybe you can go into the tutoring business and charge your uh, friends that are not doing so well in algebra maybe like $10 an hour and make some money on the side. Anyways, listen, great job, but let's get into actually how to solve this problem. So as I indicated... When you want to solve a math word problem, the first step, and not only the first step, the first three steps is to read the problem. So the first step is to read the problem. The second step is to reread the problem. And the third step is to read it one more time and make sure you understand what the question is. Never go into a problem and just read it once and just start doing stuff, okay? 
you always have to read a promise at a minimum two times, all right? I'm going to uh, encourage at least three times uh, because, you know, there's all uh, sorts of different information in the prom. You, you have to kind of process to figure out what you're going to do. So here, uh, the sum of three consecutive integers. So let's just go through this. The sum is what? Well, we're going to be adding stuff up, right? The sum is the result of adding things up. But what are we going to add up? We're going to add up three something. We're going to add up some uh, three numbers. We're going to add up three consecutive numbers. But these type of numbers are called integers. So we're going to add up three consecutive integers, and then we're going to add five to those three numbers. So the sum of three consecutive integers plus five is or is equal to 20. And the question is, what are the numbers? What are these integers? Okay. So uh, first of all, we need to understand what the word consecutive and integers means in order to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and review this. If this kind of uh, confused you a bit, well, you know, these are words that you need to know. All right, so let's kind of uh, focus in on here. You can see I've kind of started this solution here in a second. But let's talk about integers. So uh, on a real number line, okay, which ho hopefully all of you understand, we're talking about the real number system. Here's zero, and there's all sorts of numbers this way that get larger, and then there's all these negative numbers this way. These, all these numbers right here on the real number line make up what we call the real number system. Now, there's different types of number uh, numbers that are uh, different subsets of numbers um, on the real number system, okay, that uh, make up the real number system. And one of those uh, subsets is called the integers, okay? So here's an example of integers. It's these numbers here, like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. These are integers. I'm not putting in fractions. I'm not putting in decimals or square roots. These are integers. So... Now, I'm just kind of giving you a quick definition of integers. Hopefully, uh, you know, you, you uh, were, you know, aware what an integer uh, was. But if you didn't know what an integer is, then you're going to be confused on, you know, how to do this problem. So we're looking for numbers, three consecutive integers, numbers like this. These are the integers. Now, what does this word consecutive mean? Well, consecutive means one after the other. So, for example, one, two, and three are consecutive numbers. Matter of fact, they're consecutive integers. One two, three. So one number, then the next number right after that, and the next number right after that. This is uh, what consecutive means. Okay, so these are three consecutive integers. These right here would be three consecutive integers. Uh, these three numbers right here would be three consecutive integers. So that's uh, what we're looking for. Okay, well, at least this is an understanding of the word consecutive and uh, integer. So now let's go ahead and put this together. We're looking for three consecutive integers. Uh, integers. Uh, now, you can see here we have three consecutive integers plus five is 20. So you would see this problem. Again, this is a typical type of problem in some sort of algebra class. Now, here's a big hint. If you um, have a math word problem, okay, and you're in an algebra course, pre-algebra, algebra, what doesn't make a difference, you know, it's probably a good chance that you're going to be using algebra to solve the problem, okay? And anytime we don't know what a number is, we're looking for a number, then we want to be thinking in terms, uh, thinking in terms of a variable, because a variable is basically allows us to kind of um, establish an unknown. So let's go ahead and use the variable x to represent the first integer. Okay, So we're going to let x equal the first integer. Now here's the thing. Let's just look at this right here. 1, 2, 3. If we have one integer here like number 1, how do I get to the next integer 2? Okay. Well to get to the next consecutive integer you just add 1 to it. So if x is our first integer, x plus 1 would be our second integer. And then how do I get to my third integer? I add one again. Okay, so I'm going to take this x plus one, which would be my second integer, add one again, and I have my third integer. Okay, so here is basically we're going to assign variables to represent these integers. Now, going back to the problem here, I'm going to have to uh, pull in the rest of the information. So now I have a representation of these three consecutive integers. And I know that the sum of these three consecutive, uh, three consecutive integers 
plus 5, okay, I can write that as a plus 5, is 20. Anytime you see the word is in a math word problem, that means the equal sign is equal to 20. So what we're going to have to do in order to um, find out what the value of these integers are is to construct an equation. Okay, these uh, math word problems typically work, you know, um, uh, pretty uh, they're pretty common in terms of the patterns, okay? We set up or we sign some variables, we model the situation, then we construct an equation, and then we solve. So let's go ahead and construct an equation right now. So here, again, is our three consecutive integers. X would be our first, X plus one is our second integer, and then this is our second integer. We'll add one to it again. This would be our third integer. So the sum of these three integers plus five is 20. So here's our first integer. Here is our second integer. Now x plus one plus one, that's our third integer. The sum of three consecutive, consecutive integers plus five is 20. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set up an equation. And of course, you know, we look at the equation and be like, okay, does this make sense? Yes, it does make sense. So now we just have to know how to solve this equation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we have x, x, and x right here, so that'll be 3x. Then I have 1, and I have 2 right there, so 1 and 2, that would be 3 plus 5 right over there is 20. So we have 3x, uh, 3x plus 3 plus 5, 3 plus 5, of course, is 8. So we have 3x plus 8 is equal to 20. So at this point, what do I need to do? Well, I need to go ahead and just subtract 8 from both sides of the equation, and you get 3x is equal to 12. All right, so uh, how do we solve for x? Well, pretty easy. All we need to do now is divide both sides of the equation by 3, and we get x is equal to 4. Okay, so that is the solution. Now, it's a solution to this equation, but we didn't answer the question. Now, a lot of uh, math students, they'll be so happy that, oh, like, look, look at me, I solved the equation. They'll be in such a rush that they'll just stop right there. You have to answer the question. We need to know what is the number. We're looking for the numbers. What are the numbers? That is the question. So we're looking for those three consecutive integers. So let's take this information, x is equal to 4, and go back to, we can go back to, um, our setup, or even the um, equation, okay? So remember, x was, uh, was our first integer, so we know x is equal to 4, so this first integer is 4. Now, uh, it's pretty easy. If we're looking for uh, three consecutive integers, and we start with our first one is 4, well, the next one is going to be 5, the next one after that is going to be 6. These are three consecutive integers, but we also can just plug in 4 right here. Our second uh, integer is x plus 1, 4, or uh, x is 4, so that's 4 plus 1 is 5, and then our third integer is x plus 1 plus 1, or x plus 2, which of course will be 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay, now let's check this uh, uh, math out. Let's see if we did this right. So we have three consecutive integers, 4, 5, and 6. So does the sum of three consecutive integers plus 5, does that equal to 20? Well, let's see here. We got 4 and 6, that's 10. 10 and 5 is 15. 15 and 5 is, whoops, uh, is in fact 20. So this uh, works. Okay, this checks out. We have three consecutive integers plus 5. In fact, it does uh, equal to 20. So when you can uh, check your answer, your solutions, uh, definitely do so. Okay, get in the habit to like, you know, um, you know, spot check your work. It's always important to uh, verify your equations or solutions when you have enough time, especially on tests and quizzes. Uh, you're probably not gonna do that all the time, but in a problem like this, you can easily check, hey, did you do this correct? Well, if you did, again, you know, uh, enjoy that nice little happy face because that is very, very good. All right, so I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a very typical type of problem. If you've never seen these type of, uh, never seen a problem like this, you're likely going to see one in your future. Again, if you are any sort of uh, math student at the you know middle school, high school level, or beyond. Okay, so if you need uh, more help with math word problems, uh, math word problems are all over the place. It all depends on what level of math you're at. But if you're looking to improve in problems around this level, I'm going to suggest that you check out like my pre-algebra course or my algebra one course. I also have additional uh, word problems on my YouTube channel. Matter of fact, I got a lot of videos on my YouTube channel at various levels of math. At this stage of the game, 
I think I'm up to like 1,700 videos. I've been on YouTube for over 10 plus years. So I love posting videos of all uh, different sorts, basic math to advanced math, my calculus and everything in between. But again, uh, right here, if you're looking to really want my serious instruction on this level of math, I would definitely probably suggest uh, that you check out like my Algebra 1 course. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.